Hey guys, this is Asher Zerg from SU Esports, Salisbury University, bringing you a video on StarCraft 2. I know it's been a while, and I know that a lot of you guys enjoyed the uh, be uh, beginner guide to unit counters. So I was here to basically start a StarCraft school. So this is going to be a series where everybody learns um, how to um, really get better at the game. Now you don't have to be a beginner, you don't have to be, you know, you don't have to be certain things because a lot of these can fall under certain categories of players. Um, the certain topics I'm going to be talking about uh, are can have a high skill gap. So, you know, whether you're a beginner or you're like diamond, you know, whatever it is, there's still things in here like your macro, things like that you can work on. So what I'm going to be doing, we're going to hop into this game. And really I'm going to be talking about first, the first thing really is um, your macro. So you want to always be making sure that your macro, and what I mean by macro, is your economy. So your drones, your overlords, or sorry, your workers, your supply, your uh, production, things like those that really um, can change the outcome of the game. So now, when it comes in a general situation, how do you improve your macro? Really, the main the main basic things are just making sure you're constantly producing things, whether it's uh, drones with your larva, larva, it's marines with your barracks, um, or SCVs, probes, or you know any worker from their uh, their uh, spawning site, I guess. So in this case, a hatchery. Um, just keeping up with the the things that you need to be building. Um, the other thing is making sure you have the proper amount of gas, enough minerals, um, not too many minerals or gas, things like those that really can uh, affect the fact of the game, like I was saying. Now, one of these factors is your mineral count. So one of the things you always want to be doing is spending your minerals. If you have a thousand minerals and you're just kind of sitting there doing nothing, just start spending them. Like the best way to get better at the game is by constantly making sure you're doing something. So, you know, if I keep, every time I get 50 minerals here, if I keep making a worker when I have space, it's gonna work out pretty well, isn't it? Because I'm not being as idle. And this is really what uh, attributes to pro players and like, you know, high level players having such higher APM because they're they're doing things, you know, the more things you're doing, and I'm saying that garbage things where it's just like, oh, I'm gonna click around this hatchery uh, site because it's gonna improve my APM. No, I mean things like, creating things, um, allowing uh, for more production is really the main goal. So now another thing with spending resources is, you know, if you see here, I'm saving up minerals, it's because I can't really make anything with them. And instead of constantly like throwing things in, I'm gonna wait until my, my production's done and then start producing, things like this. So it just, you know, those are other things that can take a little bit more time to understand, but I can make videos on those, explain those. Uh, so it's no problem. Now the third thing, is when it comes to your um, your uh, workers. You always want to be making workers. Now, when it comes to this, this is a little tricky because you're not always, that means you can't really always be looking at your hatchery, your nexus, your command center, right? So this is where control groups come in. So, or sorry, camera locations come in. And I can make a whole video, it can be short and sweet, just really talking about how to do this. Um, now, when it comes to this, what you can do, if you make a controller group or the camera location, you can flip between the positions. And this makes it a lot easier to uh, adjust accordingly to your hatcheries or your uh, your bases, basically. And this will allow you to make those units. And if you make hotkeys as well, if you look in the bottom of my screen where I'm boxing over, if I hit four, I can see my hatcheries. If you do this command center next side, same, same kind of concept. Now, it's really important that you do this because it makes it a lot easier to access building those units. So every t every 17 seconds, your uh, worker finishes. Unless you have Nex uh, a Nexus and Chrono Boost, it may come out a little faster, not as big of a deal. But keeping this in mind, if every 15 seconds you make a worker, you're gonna have about two seconds there where you're gonna have a little bit of a queue, and that's perfectly fine. Um, because it ensures that you're always going to have um, units coming out, and that's really good. So um, the more workers you have, the better mineral count, better uh, gas count you're going to have, which is really huge. That's what you want. So now, um, the fourth thing that I'm going to talk about is your um, your rank. So now, rank really isn't as big of a factor as people make it out to be, or you might make it out to be for yourself. Um, it really doesn't matter. And the more you focus on it, the worse you're going to play. Because if you're sitting there worried that your rank is gonna drop, you might make a silly mistake because you were too busy focused on that. Um, if instead you accept the fact that you are going to fail, you're going to lose, there are people that are better at you at this game, no matter what, no matter how hard you try, no matter what you do. Um, now keeping that in mind, if you take those failures and you 
kind of learn from them, it becomes a lot easier to accept it. Um, and that can be watching your replays of the games that you lost, even the games you've won, because there's still mistakes you've made in those games. Um, and just intrinsically looking at the fact that, you know, you're not perfect and that you want to get better at the game. And yeah, you can do the same thing. And eventually, yeah, you probably will go and get better because you'll have played enough people that are worse than you um, that you've been able to move on. But if you really want to improve at the game, you're going to do what it, you're going to do the harder work and really look at what you're doing to figure out what you've done wrong to lose the game. All right, guys, so the fifth most important thing I wanted to talk about was scouting. I've tried four times to do this recording, so just bear with me. But the main thing I wanted to talk about was scouting with a visual. So the main idea is that when you have an overlord or you have a probe or a CP, make sure that you're uh, trying to look at what the other person has going on throughout the game. If you're when you're just starting, just kind of at least send that first scout out to see at least where the opponent is, what they have. Uh, what race they are even, things like that, just so that you know what's happening. Um, other than that, there's really not much else to it. I can, I'm gonna make a whole new uh, video like talking in depth on that. There's a lot to uh, to really digest with all of that and a lot to work on with that. Uh, even I still, mainly that's like one of the things that I'm still working on. Um, so in general, just sending uh, your units out to scout, whether it's your uh, part of your army or all of your army, um, one unit, things like that, just so you know what's going on in the map. Map awareness is key in this game and will be um, a lot of times the, the, the victory or the defeat screen. So just keeping that in mind, thank you guys for watching. Um, leave a like below if you enjoyed this video so I know if I should make more like this one. Um, comment below any videos in particular you'd like to see so I can make things more specific to certain people. Um, and I'll definitely be making more videos that are like, that are Terran, Protoss, Zerg specific. Um, just so that everybody has uh, content that they can enjoy, learn from, things like that. So I'll see you guys in the next video, and stay safe out there. See you guys later.